Hey everybody, welcome back to Rhino Fishing TV. I'm going to go out there and give it a shot this morning. Hurricane Florence uh, came ashore yesterday morning, I think, down in the Carolinas. And I'm up here in Maryland where we're feeling some effects from it, mainly, you know, a little breeze and, you know, some occasional showers rolling through. But this morning's forecast looks pretty good up until about noon, then it's going to kind of start raining again. So I'm going to get out there and see if I can put a few fish in the boat. I haven't fished in two weeks, so, you know, it's about to kill me. And for those of you that are down in the Carolinas and enduring the storm, I hope everything's okay with you guys and, uh, you know, check in with us and uh, hope everything works out for you and you get back out there fishing soon. Let's head to the lake and see if we can get something done this morning. All right, here we go. I kind of expected that I would have the lake to myself this morning because of the hurricane but there are actually a couple of boats out here maybe you can tell when i get the boat spun around here but man they drew this lake down several feet in anticipation of the storm i don't know what that means for the fishing we shall see i'm going to start off this morning throwing a little small profile creature bait see if i can get something to bite it but boy i tell you the water line is way down lower than what I'm used to seeing it. We'll see what happens. This area out in front of me where I usually go out and fish these trees, there's probably <laughs> three times as many stumps and trees sticking up than I'm used to seeing. But I gotta go out here and try. Other things that I have tied on today, I've got a topwater lure tied on, but it didn't look like it's going to be a good day to throw that. I've got a shallow diving crankbait and a drop shot in addition to this thing that I'm throwing now. I'm kind of thinking crankbait might be my, my deal today. Not sure how that wind is sounding today. If it's bad, I apologize ahead of time. But if I don't catch any fish, you're never gonna hear it anyway. I think I just got bit. I did. All right, first fish in the boat in, I don't know, less than three or four minutes. All right, easy buddy. You need to be still. One of my challenges today is gonna to be boat positioning with this wind. I just got bit. Yep. Well, they're biting today. At least the, the dinkers are. Now that it's a little bit lighter, see if I can give you a good look at this little lure that I'm using. I think it's by Missile Baits. I forget the name of it. I'll put it down in the description below. But it's a it's kind of a crawl looking thing. And I believe the little pinchers on it, the claws on it got little they're designed to flap a little bit when you're moving the thing all right the wind is a bit more manageable over here see if the fishies like it i'm going to throw this soft plastic around a little bit more but i'm telling you i just got a my gut's telling me to throw a crankbait Maybe my gut's wrong. Well, he threw it. All right, 
there's a, some hunters over there in case you heard that gunshot just then. Guess I'll stay away from over there. Here's this lure I'm using. It's called the Missile Baits Crawfather. And I'm going to change colors to Wicked Craw. I was throwing plain old green pumpkin. This one's got a little more blue on it. I did not get a good hook set on that guy. It doesn't matter because I wouldn't have minded losing him. Because it's one of these. I don't ordinarily like fishing in the wind like this, but they seem to be biting okay. I think I've got four catches to show you guys and one miss that I got to the boat. <clears throat> You're so tiny I didn't even feel you bite. That was a fun topwater bite. I wonder if there's any more of you out there willing to do that. You need to be still. Oh gosh, be still. You're a nice healthy looking fish compared to those other dinkers I've been catching. Again, barely felt you because you're barely feelable. That fish. Oh, the drop shot. A very large one. Oh, nice one. surprised me right by the boat. Still, I'll get the poke out of your mouth. Don't swallow it though. doing yourself any favors, buddy. Um. And you've already got a hook down your throat. Get one all the way down in there. Oh, 
Pike. Was a good one. Dang it. Is that one bigger than hell. Again. Is that hit it again? Oh, that's because it was you. Man, you are skinny. Look how skinny that thing is. Another pike. Is it the same one? Holy crap, I think it is. Got a big head and like a emaciated body. Ugh. As if you weren't creepy enough already. Yep. A bunch of you guys up in there. Small. Wow, so small. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. If it is, I apologize. Uh, but even with the wind and you know the misting rain and stuff, I had a good time today. They were biting pretty well. I caught two like really, really early on one on top water and then they really got hot on that watermelon red flake lizard caught quite a few on that didn't even mind the pickerel too much what you think about those uh back-to-back -back pickerel i caught i really really think that was the same fish i don't think i've ever caught the same fish on back-to-back -back cast before but that was pretty wild thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed i'd like to invite you to do so by clicking that little button down there in the lower right hand corner or the bigger button down below the video. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.